Roger, Roger, Tennessee doing a paddleboard poda. Had to take the paddleboard to get over to this little island that's still part of the state park. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. It's not every day that I get to combine my love of the water with my love of radio. When I saw that Devil Step Island was part of Tim's Ford State Park, I knew I had to try to activate the park from that island. All right, so for this activation, I brought along the FX4CR radio. I brought along the Jankopotamus, you guys know and love, you know, the Evolve laptop. And I brought along a couple of 3 amp hour batteries. The antenna that I'm running is going to be my InFed Halfwave. I'm using the new Gigaparts Explorer antenna, and I literally shoved a tent stake down into the tree stump. We'll grab some uh, B-roll of that and show you guys when I tear it down here in a minute. And to get it all over here safely, I wanted a dry bag. Well, I didn't have one that was big enough, so I ended up using a cooler. I thought a cooler is designed to keep water out or keep water in when you're icing down your drinks. Hopefully it'll keep water out. It did just fine. And we took the paddle boards and got over here. The other nice thing about the FX4CR is it does come with its own little tiny Pelican case. So this kind of gave me double protection. And if I trashed a laptop, yeah, well, it's only 60 bucks. We can rebuild another one pretty inexpensively. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Parks on the Air, Kilo, Mike 4, Alpha, Charlie Kilo calling CQ and listening. Alpha 5, Papa, Juliet, Alpha, Stroke, A.E. Copy, Whiskey, Alpha 5, Papa, Juliet, Alpha, Stroke, A.E. Congratulations on uh, passing the test. I'm going to give you a 5-7 into park number 2980 today. Tim's Ford Lake is a reservoir in southern Middle Tennessee. It was created by the impoundment of the Elk River by Tim's Ford Dam, which was constructed by the Tennessee Valley Authority. TBA began construction of Tim's Ford Dam in 1966 and worked on the dam was completed in December of 1970. The dam is an earth and rock fill dam that stands 175 feet high and stretches 1,580 feet across the Elk River. This is November 4, Zulu Alpha Papa. November 4, Zulu, Zulu Alpha Papa. I've got you a 5-9. Beautiful signal into Tennessee. Park number 2980. USL on the 2980. Uh, I have you um, crystal clear. The band seems pretty quiet right now, but um, it's, you're about a 5-5, five, 5-6. Five, five, um... Tennessee, huh? Roger, Roger. Tennessee doing a paddleboard poda. Had to take the paddleboard to get over to this little island that's still part of the state park. Oh, very nice. Did you, <laughs> uh, so you're alone out there? Well, almost alone. My wife is standing beside me running the camera right now. Uh, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. Good luck. Um, you have some kind of vertical going? Uh, inverted L, it's a infed half wave that I'm running uh, as vertical as I possibly could with a limited amount of mass that I've got with me. Roger that. And you're uh, inland? Uh, yeah, we're on a uh, lake uh, kind of in middle South Tennessee. Uh, it's Tim's Ford Lake. Uh, and it's a little small island out in the middle of the lake. Oh, roger that. Well, hopefully the water helps uh, your propagation, helps your signal get out. <laughs> The lake encompasses over 10,000 acres and has 256 miles of shoreline. It is the home to Thames Ford State Park, which opened in 1978 with 478 acres, but has since expanded to 3,546 acres. It also encompasses six islands, Leatherwood Island, Big Island, Little Island, Maple Bend Island, Goose Island, and Devil Step Island. Each of these islands was high ground in the Elk River Valley and remained above water after the area was flooded. Devil's Step Island is also home to the Shastine Cemetery, dating back over a hundred years. I cannot pull him out. 
I hear a park to park. I hear a park to park, but man, you are right, uh, actually a little below the noise floor. Let's try it. Uh, give me your call sign first, please. All right, I believe I got it. Whiskey Bravo 4 Delta Echo Sierra. QSL? Guys, that last contact was brutal. I don't know if you could hear it on the camera or not, but uh, or on the mic, but I could barely, barely make out that station. He did the right thing, though. He repeated his call and his part number three different times. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, CQ Parks on the Air, Kilo, Mike 4, Alpha, Charlie Kilo calling CQ and listening. Whiskey Bravo, 5 November. I believe that was Whiskey Bravo, 5 November. QSL? QSL, I have you 5555 in Texas. Appreciate the 55 in Texas. You're a 55 into Tennessee, park number 2980. QSL? 7-3, thanks for the contact. KM4ACK, CQ Poda. November 5, India, Foxtrot, Romeo. November 5, Foxtrot, give me the rest of that, please. Uh, Fox, India, Romeo. I'm sorry, India, Foxtrot, Romeo. November 5, India, Foxtrot, Romeo. All right, copy. November 5, India, Fox, Romeo. You're a 5-5 into park number 2980. Copy the 5-3 Central Texas. I appreciate the contact. 7-3. Alright, we're activated. So I managed to pull off uh, three FT8 contacts there at the end and seven voice QSOs. I don't know why it was such a struggle today. I don't know if the band was bad, if we got a solar storm going on. I didn't look at any of that before I went, but I know it was tough. The contacts I did make, all but one were really, really nice uh, signals. That one was a real struggle to pull out of the noise, but we managed to get it. All right, guys, appreciate you tuning in today. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3. Down, you can just push up or down on the joystick. Here. Okay, look. This is a joystick. That would have been helpful. <laughs> that would have been helpful. Look. <laughs>